I mean, security is something which everybody wants in their life, but nobody actually wants to spend any money on it. All of us have that brother, sister or roommate who is touching our stuff, we know about it, but we still cannot do anything about it. We are always worried about our stuff being taken or stolen or misplaced. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to use your Android device as a cheap, cheap, it's free, and effective CCTV surveillance camera. So hey, what is our friends? I'm your host HK, welcome to the Android Guy. So let's get on with it. First up, head over to the Play Store and open up the search bar. Then type in IP camera. It's already there in my search bar, but you will need to type it in. Then hit on the more section and we'll be installing two apps. The first app in the list is IP webcam by Pavel Klovich. And the second app, which we are gonna be installing is home security IP cam by Alfred, which is made by Alfred Labs. And as always, both of these apps are pretty small in size and are 100% free. So I'll be going ahead and installing these apps pretty quick. All right, after the installation is done, let's go ahead and open up the first app in the list, that is IP webcam. And before we get started, let me tell you how this app actually works. Now it uses your phone camera to record video footage and at the same time it wirelessly transmits that video footage onto your computer over your local Wi-Fi network. The same way professional CCTV camera work. So make sure that your phone and your computer are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. You can also set up port forwarding and you can view the footage anywhere in the world. And if you do not have a Wi-Fi router, you can use the wireless hotspot option on your phone to connect your phone and your computer wirelessly. And again, as all of this is done through the local wireless network, no internet data is used for this. Now here you will have a bunch of settings which are pre-configured, so you will not have to change anything here. Simply scroll down, all the way down and tap on the start server button. And as you can see, we have a live feed of my hand here, pretty smooth. And now this video is being wirelessly transmitted over the local network. So in order to view this, you will have to note down this IP address. Let me, let me tilt the display a bit so that you can have a better view. So you'll have to enter this IP address into a computer's web browser to view the live surveillance footage of your phone. So no special software is required for this. So let's head over to our computer and check it out. Now on your computer side, open up your browser. I'm using Google Chrome, but it will work on any other browser as well. Then simply head over to your address bar on your browser and type in the IP address that we noted earlier. Again, your IP address might be different than mine. So make sure that you enter it correctly. After that, hit on enter. And if everything goes right, the IP webcam portal will automatically open up on your computer screen. And if you see no footage here, hit on the flash button and bang, that's the live CCTV footage of my phone. And let's view this in full screen. And um, let me take out the phone. And as you can see, the footage is pretty smooth and crips. I mean, I'm really impressed from the quality. Now let's uh, go behind the scene and yo, check this out. It's me recording me recording me. Whoa, inception. Now back to our computer screen slash the CCTV receiver. I had mounted my camera facing towards the back of my house, which is about five rooms away from where I'm sitting right now. And in case if you're wondering, yes, I do live in a tropical jungle. And yeah, that's an abandoned house at the back of my house. Kinda creepy though, but anyways, uh, there is a zoom slider here. You can zoom in the footage and you can get a better look at things. You can also increase or decrease the video quality depending on how smooth or how choppy the video is. There's also night mode and LED flash controls here for low light surveillance, which is also pretty cool. And also there are tons and tons of advanced settings like exposure, composure, etc, etc, which you can tweak from the receiver end or your computer itself without touching your phone or your camera. And last but not the least, you can also record the footage, which is a great thing. And all of this is for free and will always be free. But what if you want something much simpler, something on which you can record the surveillance footage on one phone and watch it simultaneously on another from anywhere in the world? In that case, you can use the second app that is Home Security IP Camera by Alfred. Now you will need two phones for this. So install it on two phones and open it up. Now once it is open, scroll to the right and let me get through the intro. Then tap on the start button at the bottom and select which device you want to use as the CCTV camera and which device you want to use as the receiver. Now we are going to be using the Micromax phone on my left as the CCTV camera and the device on my right as the viewer or the receiver. 
So select that and bang there you have the footage now both of these devices are connected across two different networks so you can be anywhere in the world and you can still have a look at your things at your home and at people at your house again it's absolutely free 100 percent safe and very very cost efficient you can also speak into the devices it acts as a two-way radio it can be heard from the other side whatever you say from this side so it can be used as a very handy nanny cam if you have small kids or baby around the house you can check on them and you can also speak to them by using alfred and whoa what's this <laughs> guys check this out whoa it's it's like water <laughs> kind of cool now after everything is set let's talk about something which is very important that is the mounting options now i can place your phone on a pen stand popping out of your jeans hanging from the wall etc etc but the best thing about using a phone as a cctv camera is it's all inconspicuous nobody will notice that somebody is watching them which is the best thing about using a phone as a security camera you can put your phone to sleep you can put a password on it and it will still work so that's the best thing about this setup now if you can get your hands on on one of these mobile phone dashboard stand which you use in your car you can mount your phone on virtually anywhere you can mount it at a height to get a vantage point and have a look of the entire area just like a real cctv camera you can also use smaller phones which has bigger batteries you can tweak with the settings and do a lot more things which i wasn't able to show in this video to get the optimal security of your place of your family and of your stuff so yeah friends that's about it i do hope that you found this video helpful and interesting if you did don't forget to be the cool guy who give thumbs up to my videos and do subscribe if you haven't already to watch more interesting videos like these so i'm your host hk from the android guy signing out and as always you guys have a great day peace